Well, this morning, if, if you would, take your Bible and let's go to Isaiah chapter 12. Isaiah chapter 12. We're going to read the entire chapter. You're like, oh, great. It's, it's, it's six verses. All right. We're going to read the entire chapter, though. Um, and, uh, well, actually, no, we're going to start in verse number two. We're going to, we're going to skip verse number one, but we're going to start in verse number two. Um, and we're going to read this, and I'll, I'll, I'll pray, and, and we'll, we're going to build a little bit of a thought this morning that I hope will be of an encouragement to each and every one of us. Now, if you know Christ as your personal Savior, this is going to apply uh, to, to you and me, those that know Christ, those that are saved, have that confidence in where we are going to spend eternity through the blood of Jesus Christ and the word of God and the truth that we've trusted in. Um, this will apply to each and every one of us. Now, if you don't know Christ as your personal Savior, if you don't know where you're going to spend eternity, um, this can apply to you, but uh, it, it will make better application once you get your eternal destination settled. And uh, so if that is your need this morning, if you don't know Christ as your Savior, if you don't know for sure where you're going to spend eternity according to God's word, uh, that would be your first thing to take care of this morning. And there will be that opportunity for that. But um, looking here in Isaiah chapter 12, starting verse number 2, the Bible says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. You say, hold on, that, that's repeating itself. No, he is.